Islanders, welcome back to another video. This is a bit of an off the hoof random mission that we're on. About one hour ago, there was three basking sharks spotted around the other side of the coast here, headed this way. This is Fleshick Bay. So this is a well-known basking shark hotspot. We're in May now, May till October. The Isle of Man is one of the UK's best places to see these here in the Isle of Mull. I'll talk more about basking sharks later. But what I want to do here is flash up the drone and have a look around this bay. There's some cracking footage of basking sharks in this very bay. Not by me, by a guy called Lee. I'll flash up some footage now. The full video link of that will be in the description. Winds are pretty strong actually, but uh, luckily my drone is pretty good in the winds. As you can see, the weather's a bit weird. We've got some mist coming over the top. Uh, got about two and a half hours of sunlight left. Take off. The whole point is so far, I'm not seeing much. Uh, the sea state's actually pretty, pretty smooth considering the winds. Uh, look quite good visibility out there. I think if, a, if there was anything, I'd see it. We'll, go, we'll push out a little bit further. Tell you what, it's, it's cracking with that mist running down the hill. So I'll just indicate here, roughly where the, uh, on the screen, where the, um, the sightings were from which side, and they've come round, so let's have a look. What a treat, some seagulls flying around. So I'm actually in the area right now where the uh, Baskin shark footage is from, in there, which I showed at the start of the video. Thought I'd bring you guys along to show you what it's like when I get the nod, something's in the area to get out and try and get some footage. Yeah, it's not looking like there's much here. Let's have a little rip around the coast. I've got to be a little bit careful here because of the strong winds, I could quite easily lose the drone. I've got form for losing drones, so I don't want to do that. So, nothing in Fleshick Bay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the other side here, Port Aaron, we'll have a look there. Like I say, we've got the boat, we've got the free diving gear, we'll see what happens. Let's go. You see in the kayaking video, but a third small tooth sand tiger shark has been found in British waters. It blows my mind because a month ago, these would never been confirmed in our waters, and now we've had three, one in Ireland two off England. This one, which was about 10 foot long, weighed about 17 stone, according to the fishermen involved, um, was just found floating in the water. He'd never seen anything like it. Uh, he's a commercial fisherman, so he, I don't know what that means for British waters. Uh, I certainly uh, have had a few concerns recently because the amount of time I've spent in the sea, I've not been seeing any fish. Guys, Port Aaron Bay. Absolutely stunning place, my favorite place on the island. And I think recently it was voted one of the best beaches in Britain. And on a lovely day, it really is. There's a couple of people out there now on kayaks. I'm not gonna deploy the kayak yet. That's only if I see something. So if I did see some dolphins or say basking sharks, I'd get the kayak out, we'd go out and have a look respectfully, uh, keep my distance, etc. All the free diving gears here. I'm gonna get out of this lovely revolution race gear. Link in description, by the way. Thanks to those guys for sorting me out. I'm going to head out for a little bit of a free dive, see what's out there. It's a very low tide at the moment, so we'll have to uh, push out a little bit to get deep, see what's around. Someone at work was like, mate, why are you carrying hair conditioner in your uh, in your van? It was literally in the front seat in one of the drinks holders. And the truth is, anyone who knows, free diving wetsuits, there's no lining or anything in them. You've got to lubricate them to get them on. So I put hair conditioner in with water, ideally warm, but today I'm uh, on the peasant life, so it's cold. Swish it round and then you can get it on. If you've ever tried to put a free diving stroke spear fishing wetsuit on without lubricating it, you're an absolute savage. Just in case you're new to the channel, this bay behind me, Port Aaron Bay, there's some cracking footage again of uh, large basking sharks within this bay. 
I'll overlay some of it now. I get asked quite a lot how I know what the sea temperature is. So I use one of these little like, I'm assuming it's for a fish tank to be fair. So current air temperature, 13.1. Don't judge me for the clock life. All right, let's see. So she settled. 10.9 degrees Celsius. That's not bad. Sort of expected range for this time of year. Got my weights on. So the time has come to jump in. Oh, a nice little sib down there. Little E propulsion. Just gonna get the diver, alpha diver down flag out. Okay. The boats will know now. I think we need to donate a new flag to the cause. shark in the world, the biggest fish in Britain. They can weigh up to four and a half ton and their only known predators are great white sharks and orcas, also known as killer whales. Obviously we have orcas in these waters. We have some sightings where I'm going to go next, the sound. There's video footage of this from California and New Zealand on YouTube. If I can remember I'll link it below. Visibility here is pretty shocking, obviously because of all that plankton, I think that's what it is. So I'm going to head around the other side of the island to the seal colony. Let's see if them boys and girls are up for a play. Right, one last dive and then we're getting out. So people on that yacht and they're sure having a few beers. What a life. Alpha flags back. If I left that out, it would definitely be a Coast Guard call out later on if someone saw it. So always remember to put them back. We're going over to the seal colony now. Sun is due to set 40, 50 minutes from now. So seals hunting at night. Might they might come out and play. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's go. Attention. We are now off to the seal colony. I'm just blowing my sinuses back out uh, from equalising when I was freediving. Uh, this is also a great spot for basking sharks. 
and there's been some great sights there there was a few shots taken last year I carry all the gear i carry um, i've got the submarine with me as well but i think due to the tidal situation and the visibility which i'm expecting is probably not going to be that great so the mission is get over there fire up the drone see what the seals are doing remember this is the place where the orcas were sighted I hope you can hear me guys because it is so windy what a difference coming like literally around the corner has made it's like winter around here the wind must be 20 mile an hour at least the sea i've just flown the drone around to do a quick recce like i always do just to check it's horrendous the white horses are up the currents are horrendous and most of all i've flown all around here and seen absolutely no seals so i'm not going in there it wouldn't be safe even the birds are just cruising around in the wind. <laughs> yeah, not safe at all. Even with a dive buddy, I wouldn't go in there. Welcome back to Port Aaron. It's the day after. Yes, we've got some scuba gear. The reason I'm doing the intro now to day two is because I dropped a GoPro in there, dicking around. So hopefully we might find it in this video. But if not, rest in peace, GoPro. <sighs> okay, day two exploring let's go foggy isn't it mission is at hand to save the GoPro 11. I've got form for losing GoPros, I lost one on a mountain paragliding, so uh, I want this one back. Let's go. Good having up there for the mission. Well, it's good to be Didn't find the GoPro. I'm going to come back at low tide and have a look. So if any locals are around, 
take yourself down there, find my GoPro, it could be a reward. Thanks again for joining me on this adventure, see you on the next one.